There is a heartbreaking story right now that we should talk about. Crimes against Asian Americans only getting worse. Wave of violence against elderly Asian Americans. Another Filipino becomes a victim of a hate crime. The avalanche of anti-Asian American hate crimes. This is a tragedy. Police are searching for a man who punched and kicked the 65-year-old Filipino-American woman. And this 91-year-old man brutally shoved to the ground and people are fed up. They're sick and tired of it. Venting their internal vileness for unsuspecting people. The 84-year-old Thai man shown here. It's a, a sad, horrible tragedy. We've watched in this belief as Asians and others that see Asians have become the victims of a wave of violence across the United States. This has caused the increasing of anxiety, depressive symptoms, and sleep problems among those who are targeted. Amidst fast growing system of degeneration, it takes looking up to gain utmost perspective. Not peaceful situation is inevitable, and it is ambiguous. The film renders epiphany that racism is by no means of a threat that should be disregarded. It is supposed to be a condition that has to be prioritized. The unity comes in our bare hands to provide assistance, a naked eyes to witness the immoral act of, of the United States, and acceptance to respect the diverse race, which the world lacks. Thus, the gleam of hope to stop the racism remain unsolved. Anti-Asian hate must end, because this has caused many pain in people all over the world. To stop racially discriminatory violence in the United States, it would be necessary for the country to acknowledge and embrace the variety of all of its community as a strength. We see hope in a new administration, but to achieve a truly open society in the United States and around the world, we will need to maintain civil society voices and movements to boost. There are no biological differences between people. No race is superior or inferior to another. We are all the same. According to the video, the most visible effect of Asian hate or racism in the economy is when people lose their jobs and they blame it to the Asian Americans. According to the video, one of the examples is the death of a Chinese man named Vincent Chin. Vincent Chin was beaten to death in 1982 by two white males. That was a time when Japanese automobile firms were doing exceptionally well, but not so well for other companies such as the one where two white auto employees who murdered Vincent Chin because they blamed Japanese people for their company's demise. Just to be clear, Vincent Chin is Chinese, not Japanese. Instead of going to prison, both white males were sentenced to three years of probation and paid a $3,000 fine and they did not serve a single day in prison. An article was even published concerning about this case and it stated that these are not the kind of men sent to jail by the judge of the case, Judge Kaufman. Racism in its various forms is a worldwide issue. It exists and there is a compelling moral case for dealing with it. The broader economic dimension on the other hand is frequently overlooked in its essential discussion. Systemic racism has huge economic consequences because it stops people from realizing their full economic potential. A society that is less prejudiced can be economically stronger. Accepting the fact that they are superior at their job in operating a business is my final stand on this subject. Not just only Asians, but also individuals of various cultures and religions. Because of your toxic personality in racism, you are solely responsible for the demise of your own company. Anti-Asian hate have begun a long time ago due to the assault and discrimination. Many have lost not just their livelihood but also the lives of their loved ones. As years pass, the matter was not unraveled and it's still prevalent. In these past years, we have witnessed a significant increase in aggressive assault because of the anti-Asian hate. As time goes by, the matter become more severe 
and the wounds of the maltreated just deepen. But everything become much worse ever since the coronavirus, or also known as COVID-19, have started. In the beginning, I know nothing about this matter. I know that there were discrimination, but I have no idea that there were existing crimes against Asians. That there are people who hate Asian to the point of assaulting them or even killing them. And when I become aware about anti-Asian hate, I discover how grave the situation is. I discover that this non-feasible situation has occurred because of misconception, speculations, and prejudices. I reflected upon the stories that I have heard, read, and watched, and I have become aware that I too have my own faults, that I have my own misconception and prejudices too. I began conscious about my actions and thoughts and realized that in order to stop this hate, we must assess ourselves and have self-awareness. Because in order to change others, we must start with ourselves. We seldom talk about this matter in school, even though we should. We should initiate and start to have an in-depth talk with our classmates and teachers. Because this matter is about us, we should educate ourselves and inform others. I am calling out all of us as a community to care, speak up, and take deliberate action in response to the growth of anti-Asian violence, discrimination, xenophobia, and racism across the country. With this, we can overcome the hate one step at a time. And no matter how little our stride is, what's important is we are making progress and we are making significant changes. We should not be passive bystander. We should do something about this. Stand up and speak out. Support and care. Because the next victim might be you or the one you love. Let's stop anti-Asian hate and start to change the perspective of others. Asian hate crimes increased a lot since the COVID-19 began. They are blaming the Chinese people that they are the cause of the COVID-19 because some people in China eat exotic foods like stinky tofu, rat, rat meat, and bats, century egg, or a hundred year old egg, and a many more exotic food. Also, President Donald Trump referred to COVID-19 as Chinese virus in 38 minutes and 45 seconds of the film that were assigned to us, which appears to have more strengthened the association of Asians in disease in the minds of his followers expressed through social media hate speech. It's terrifying to think that our family will be affected since we are part of the Asian country, such as our relatives in other countries that being bullied by races or in, way, in worst case scenario, they will be killed as eight people were slain in the Atlanta shootings by a white man, including six ladies of Asian origin. For our peace of mind and the safety of our family, I hope that Asian hatred is put to an end.